Hello, so this is Fundamentals of Case Management Practice, Skills for Human Services, 5th edition. Chapter 25, Developing Goals and Objectives at the Provider Agency. How it works. At the Provider Agency, they receive your broad general goals for the client. Then they write the goals with objectives in greater detail. The objectives for each goal tell how, to go, how the goal will be met. Completion of the goals is expected to take place in the time allocated by the case manager. These more detailed goals and objectives, uh, these more detailed at the provider agency are generally drawn up with the client and shared with the case manager who made the referral. Client participation. We do not develop goals without the client participating. If you are working with a child, involve the parents. If the person is unable to participate because of illness or other incapacity, there may be someone close to the client who can participate on his or her behalf. Make objects manageable. Choose small objectives um, that will be easy to accomplish. These show progress towards the goal much faster. Give it, the client a sense of accomplishment. Develop objectives that are attainable. Goals. Goals are actually the outcomes that you expect to occur as a result of treatment, service, or intervention you have chosen. Goals are written in the positive, what will happen rather than what might not, what will not happen or what might happen. The goal is the result of treatment or intervention. The client is the subject of the goal. There is only one condition for the goal. Uh, the goal is written in one sentence. The goal is written in the positive. Writing the goals. Most clients will have more than one goal. Make sure clients do not have so many different goals that they become overwhelmed. Goals are written first. They are written in broad term, general terms and state what you intend to bring about. Examples, Martin will abstain from cocaine use. Amanda will find a job. Alex will enroll in the HVAC program. Curtis will complete outpatient treatment for domestic violence. Marcia will obtain reliable housing. Objectives. Clients may have similar goals, for example, to abstain from drug use. It is the objective that individualizes the client's plan. Every goal has objectives. Objectives are either concrete, measurable manifestations of the treatment goal, the individual steps to achieving the goal. Think of goals and objectives as being part of a continuum from the abstract goal to the concrete objectives. Every goal must have at least two objectives. Um, combining goal and objectives, concrete and measure. Concrete and measurable objects. Client, Marcy, goal. Marcy will take steps to curb her alcohol intake as evidenced by objectives. Marcy will attend 90 AA meetings in 90 days. Marcy will work collaboratively with her AA sponsor. Marcy will not miss work for the next month. Marcy will not go to the bar on Saturday nights. Combining goals and objectives as individual steps. Um, so, client Alex, goal Alex will obtain admission to the college HVAC program as evident by Alex will obtain admission materials, Alex will submit admission materials, Alex will take some admission tests, Alex will meet with the counselor to choose first semester courses. The C Billy test. To see if you have written a goal or objective, an objective, apply the C Billy test. Read what you have written and ask yourself if you will actually be able to hear or see the client doing that. If you cannot, you have a goal. If you can, you have an objective. So example, you cannot see or hear this. Therefore, this is a goal. Carlos will gain insight into problems with his mother. You could see or hear this. Therefore, this is an objective. Carlos will talk about the problems he and his mother have. Proper endings. End every goal statement with one of these phrases. As manifested by, as evidenced by, as demonstrated by, as indicated by. Then write the objectives in a list under that phrase. So goal A, Kendra will learn a marketable skill as evidenced by objective one. Kendra will attend classes at the community college for at least one semester. Objective two, Kendra will seek tutoring for areas in which she is having academic difficulty. Numbering system, a numbering system makes it easy to identify which objectives, uh, which goal, objectives go with the which goals and it saves you from having to write them out each time you refer to them in the record. Goals can be A, B, C, D, 
and objectives can be one, two, three. So A1 representation, goal A, objective one, it refers to, okay, so goal A, Kendra will, uh, objective one, da, da, da. So you can see that there as, as the example. Target dates. Give each objective a target date. Set the date for the amount of time you are willing to try this intervention without getting the desired result. If at the end of the time there have been no results or only minimal results, it is time to write the goals and objectives differently. The target date helps in monitoring progress toward the end goal and prevents leaving people in programs with no end in sight. Example, Goal A, Kendra will learn a marketable skill as evidenced by Objective 1. Kendra will attend classes at the community college for at least one semester by December 12th, 2009. Objective 2, Kendra will seek tutoring for areas in which she's having academical difficulty by October 1, 2009. Review dates. Choose a date uh, between the referral dates and your target date to check in and review the person's progress in meeting his or her goals. Treatment interventions. A treatment intervention is something that you or provider do to facilitate the client reaching the goal. It is not a goal or an objective. Tr and treatment intervention tells us what you, the worker, will do. A treatment objective gives some anticipated change in the client's behavior as a result of your intervention. Examples of treatment interventions, you give the client material to read regarding resolving the client's problem. You schedule meetings with the client more often. You take the client to the doctor point to the doctor appointment. You bring the client information on how to enter college. You enroll the client in a parenting workshop. You arrange in home care. Long term and short term. If you were asked to state what your long term goals are for the client, refer to your goals. If you were asked to what your short term goals are for the client, you refer to the objectives. Insurance companies and other funding sources may ask for this information. So that's it for this video. Thank you for listening.